So guys, this is our second day in Mexico City. We are in Madero Street, central Mexico. And we're about to go out. It's a beautiful day. And we are going to be doing some video blogs of our time here. And part of these videos will be going on Ray Gano's conference online when he has a special conference all about expats um, in countries abroad. So we're staying at the Cali Madero, the Ritz Hotel. <laughs> Around the first street is the uh, Torre Americana. It was built in 1965 and it's 44 stories and it's Mexico City's Empire State Building. So it's 10 in the morning and what's the temperature already? Paul? 26 degrees centigrade. And um, yeah, there's a guy showing some shoes. And you know, you will see here. A lot of stores that you're used to seeing, and of course there's McDonald's everywhere, <laughs> as you would imagine. And again, this is just, just at the end of the street that we're staying in. Here, the architecture is gorgeous and there's so many features the styles are so varied and some of it looks you can see the art deco influence um, they have a lot of influences actually and we will film little bits here and there to show you it really is stunningly beautiful saying okay. Um, yeah, as I said a moment ago, the architecture here is beautiful and varied. You have different styles, art deco. There's something that looks like a, out of a Fritz Lang film. There's Renaissance, there's Art Nouveau, there's Classical, That's and this is an example of one of the Art Deco buildings. And uh, Baroque as well. Yep. You can see the mountains in the distance. Uh, the Mexico City is in a uh, dry valley lake bed. Yes, yeah, Paul was saying that that was actually a volcano, but it was too far in the distance and uh, it wouldn't focus too well. So we're now at the other side of that tower, Latino Americana. Okay. 
it's just look at the architecture. You'll probably get bored of me saying this <laughs> through these videos. We're going to go into the Palace of Art now. Just to say that it will be open tomorrow. And um, yeah, as I said, you know, obviously it is a very multicultural place. And um, there's our first sighting of our palm reader, tarot card reader. I was wondering when we would see one of those. It's getting hot now, so yeah, it's about half eleven noon. So we're going to get a drink and go into the palace of art to escape the, the sun. So here's a little food review. We're still in Alameda Central. We're just just at that market, just at the park there. And let's have a little look at the menu. So it's not quite noon. And papaya juice. Mm. So I'm going to go for number three scrambled eggs with ham and coffee and papaya juice. And that is 65 pesetos. So, Paul, what's that? £2.50. £2.50 in. About $2. $2. US, £2.50 UK. So, you know, it shows you that you can eat out really cheaply during the day and the evening as well, of course. Um, a mixture of, of places are more expensive places too, of course, but you know, you will not be stuck for somewhere to eat. You know, I must say they're always very, very generous with the amount of bread that they give you. Um, last night too, when we went to a restaurant, the amount of bread. <laughs> I, I, you know, I probably wouldn't eat that in a whole week <laughs> back home. Um, they are very generous with the bread and papaya, which is delicious. So I hope guys that you're able to actually hear what we're saying because I realise there's obviously lots of noise. If you don't hear what we're saying, do apologise. So, I have my omelette and beans with cheese. I mean, it's okay. I'm not madly fond of it, so I probably will eat all the beans. Yeah, see? And Paul, being the bravest out of the two, has ordered... Chicken and chalakis. Chicken and chalakis. And that basically means... Chicken with crickets. My husband is about to eat crickets. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll just you enjoy your watch bread. from a, a safe distance as he eats these crickets. Have you eaten crickets before, Paul? All the time. All the time, he says. Well, John the Baptist did it. If it's okay for him, it's okay for us. And, um, so how does it taste? Fantastic. Fantastic. He's shoveling it in there. He's hungry. <laughs> He's starving. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, but can you literally taste the crickets? No. Apparently it has a nutty flavour, am I right? Well, I think he's really quite hungry, so we'll just leave him to that. <laughs> enjoy your scrambled eggs. I will enjoy my scrambled eggs. So the verdict is, yep, that was lovely. Just taking a little break, but I'm definitely going to finish it all. And, you know, I know that doesn't look very pretty, um, the bean stuff there, but it is delicious. Yeah, refried beans. Sorry? Refried beans. Refried beans. With everything kind of smoky and a wee bit 
kind of a wee bit of chilli in it as well. But balances out the eggs and the bacon being a bit bland taste, so it definitely wakes you up in the morning, put it that way. It's delicious, the bean, it is absolutely delicious and it has a little bit of chilli in it and it's got a really smoky uh, flavour, it is absolutely delicious. Um, yeah, I like it. But obviously you don't, you, you get, you know, they serve it with practically everything and if you're not used to it, I wouldn't suggest you eat all of it, <laughs> um, if you're not used to it in your diet, but it actually is really delicious. So, how was that, how was that eating your, your breakfast with crickets? Keep it going. Did you like it? Yeah. So, if you start to chirp later on, I'll know why. How was your scrambled eggs? It was lovely, yeah. So, now we're going to go into the Palace of Art. Yes, we are.